um, there's just going to be a, some time there that we just won't have any cheese available. Um, and it's just, you know, every year is different. Uh, I feel like production wise, you know, with our seasonal production being farmstead, we have environmental variations, we have animal health variations, we have, um, you know, milk quality variations, things that are just always a given. But the way it shakes out and the way, you know, our fin finished product is affected by that and the availability is affected by that seems to be, um, you know, something that we can never quite predict from one year to the next because we just never really have the same year twice. And that's agriculture and that's farming. And so farmstead cheese making is just subject to many of those same um, variables that are out of our control. And um, so, uh, <laughs> That's uh, that just is kind of the year that I, that I'm now can see you know out in front of me, but I am very confident that um, we will be able to really have plenty of availability by the fourth quarter, and that's seasonal wise. As far as sales go, that's the most important time of year to really have as much cheese available as possible. Um, so it's you know new year, new problems. Um, we're always just trying to do better and get smarter and anticipate things before they're upon us. But, you know, with the case with the, the shake rag fig leaf thing that I've got going on, you know, there was just no way for us to foresee that, you know, we would have such an interruption in our ability to produce it. 